Well, a $20 promotion sucked me in for another Thrive Market haul box. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, if you're new, thanks so much for stopping by. I have a Thrive Market haul for y'all today, and it is a good one. It's a really good keto one, some new finds, some oldies but trues that I wanna share with you guys. So let me take you down to the counter again and show you what we got for this huge Thrive Market. Super excited about this Thrive Market haul. It's things that we use on a regular, and some new items, and things that we needed to stock up on. So one thing y'all have been telling me about Thrive Hauls when I post them here on my channel is Nicole, get the almond milk from Thrive Market because I've been buying the one from Walmart, which is their brand, which doesn't have as many stabilizers as the name brand. But this one y'all have been telling me, and y'all are absolutely right, has only one stabilizer in it, the sunflower lectin. So it has water, organic, sweet almond, sea salt, and that one stabilizer, two and a half grams of fat for a cup, 30 calories, one carb and one protein. This is probably the cleanest almond milk I have seen out there. And the price at Thrive Market was great. I went ahead and got four of them because we fly through almond milk making Trace Keto Queso and making my protein shakes. The boys use it for cereal instead of regular milk. So we're gonna give it a try, but thank y'all so much for the suggestion for this because this one is super clean. Highly recommend just based off the ingredients. Got a couple of condiments. So I mentioned in a grocery haul a couple weeks past, I bought the Great Value Salsa and there was one ingredient in there that wasn't my favorite. And I saw the Siete hot sauce. So I don't really need the salsa. I just want the heat. Y'all know I love spicy food. And Siete, I always appreciate because they are the cleanest of the clean. So this is zero everything except for some added sodium in there. And look at the ingredients, so clean. You never have to worry about Siete, every product. Now, some of their products are paleo and not keto for my keto peeps out there. This one is absolutely 100% keto friendly right there. Something else that's keto friendly is the Primal Kitchen Golden Barbecue Sauce. All of Primal Kitchen's like condiments are keto friendly, just FYI, except for some that have the added like pineapple juices and stuff. Those are more paleo. But I'm not a big fan of the original barbecue sauce. Y'all let me know down below by Primal Kitchen. That's the one we have right now and been using. It's a little spicy for my, and I just talked about how I like spicy food, but I don't like spicy barbecue sauce. I like a more sweet barbecue sauce. So I've never tried this golden one. And this one is two carbs for two tablespoons, 15 calories. Less than a gram of protein doesn't have any fat in it at all. So I'm here for this and hoping that it's more on the sweeter side of a barbecue sauce that I'm looking for. Something brand new I've never tried before. Y'all let me know if you've tried this before. This is the Barney brand butter unsweetened powdered almond butter. So why did I get this? I got this in place of the Lakanto peanut butter powder or if you're using like PB2 because peanuts don't agree with me. They're a legume so they don't sit well on your gut anyway and not the best for keto too. This is 40 five calories for two tablespoons, one fat, six protein, which I appreciate, and two net carbs. So I wanted to add this maybe to my yogurt or maybe to a smoothie in place of peanut butter. I was looking for a better option. And this is just blanched almonds. It doesn't have any cruddy stuff in this. So I'm gonna give this a go. If you've tried this and tried it in different ways that I mentioned, let me know down below. Something I don't know why I have not been incorporating more of because when I went to KetoCon, when I first started keto about six months in, in 2019, I stopped the Peely Nut booth and tried their nut butters and their nuts, their Peely Nuts, and they are phenomenal. And Thrive Market sells their nut butters. So this is the Paleo Classic one, the Keto Vegan one, Expedition Peely Butter. And then this is the Pumpkin Spice with Lion's Mane. I've tried this one before at KetoCon actually, and it is fire. So I got these to go on my base culture bread, my unbun bread with my raspberries. If you watch my vlogs, you know. And there are the macros, guys. It is super high fat. Um, so this is a good way to incorporate your fats in other ways to your lean proteins. And look at the ingredients. The ingredients on this stuff is next level. So I got those just to have a little fun, have a little something different. And they're a good price over there on Thrive versus buying them actually off their website. I've had these as well. I love the Epic brand. That's another brand that's never gonna steer you wrong ingredients wise, guys. So this is the uncured bacon bits and the hickory smoke. They're really big pieces of bacon. So they're not like crunchy. They're more on the soft side of like bacon. And then I've never tried the chicken bits before. And this is in the sesame flavor. 
And this one is a little higher in carbs. So this one is two carbs for nine pieces versus this one, which is zero carbs for nine pieces. So just keep that in mind. I thought the sesame might be good on salads, like as a sesame, some type of salad. So I got those. They sell these at Whole Foods too, but really cheaper over at Thrive. So we got Wonder Noodle Wasted. You might be thinking, girl, what is going on? I am obsessed with these Wonder Noodles. I am loving these way more than the Palmini noodles. The Hearts of Palm Pasta is a little bit more crunchy and hard for me. This is spot on for me. I'm telling you. And I like these versus the Pasta Zero. You can get it at Walmart, kind of like in the cold section by the veggies. This one, the ingredients are way better. So the ingredients on these are just the cognac flour. Yeah, cognac flour, calcium hydroxide, and water. That's it. Now the ones at Walmart, the pasta zero ones, have a little bit of, I think it's rice flour and potato starch in there. So I'd rather not have that. And as far as the carbs go, guys, this is zero net carbs. The pasta zero ones are like two net carbs, I think, for a serving. And these taste great. So when you take them out of the packaging, it does smell kind of fishy with that watering from the con cognac flour. So what you do is you rinse these off and then you're gonna pan fry them and a little bit of avocado oil is what I've been doing and they are great and good to go. I use this fettuccine one and that keto ladies macaroni and cheese in her new cookbook. It was fire. We had that for Easter. The angel hair I'm actually using tonight for a recipe. So that came in clutch. And then the macaroni I thought might be good for her recipe versus this. So I got the macaroni noodles. I didn't even know they sold those. And these are so cheap over on Thrive. It has like a variety pack or something. Don't sleep on this guys. I'm telling you really awesome new find I found. Needed some cinnamon and I've been getting this ground organic one from Thrive. It's delicious. Primal palette. I love the, the ranch one. We have the ranch and then there's another one I have that's really Really good. Hidden Valley and stuff can be loaded with creepy carbs and bad ingredients. Look at the ingredients on this. Onion, salt, garlic, chives, parsley, all organic. This is awesome. I thought this French onion seasoning might be good for like some type of roast or something. So you have to get increments of three for these. And that was that. The ranch one and the other ones on their website too. Highly recommend Primal Palette seasoning, spices, all their stuff. I'm running super low on my hemp hearts. I love hemp hearts and you want to get organic guys and you want to get the hemp seed hearts, not just the hemp seeds. And this Thrive Market brand I've never tried before. So these are really good in omega-3s, gluten-free, paleo. They are keto friendly because there is one carb for four teaspoons, 190 calories, 14 grams of fat and 11 grams of protein. So this is a great fat protein ratio. If you're not wanting to get the quantity in, but you wanna add this to your yogurt or to your smoothies and get your macros up a little bit, this is a good way to do it. And it's really good heart healthy for you. So grab one of those, never tried that Thrive brand before. Most of y'all know I love Lakanto products. We were running low on our classic monk fruit sweetener. I've been using the classic to sweeten up the boys keto tea that I'm making them. It's just the celestial flavored teas that I brew up and then I add a fourth of a cup of monk fruit to it and fill the rest with water and they are obsessed with it. And it's a sugar-free option for them and it's more cost efficient than buying like the really good juice boxes that I preach about all the time too. I needed some more of the Lakanto sugar-free powdered monk fruit. Now you can make powdered monk fruit from this. You can just grind it up in your Ninja or whatever and it will make the powdered version. But I like having this. I, you know, it's an extra step I don't have to do. And I bought this for baking because I've been baking a lot for the boys lately. Speaking of baking, I am almost out of coconut flour and I think we've been buying the Bob's Red Mill, which is really good too, but I wanted to give the Thrive one a, a try. It's their organic coconut flour and here are the macros for you guys and it is just organic coconut flour. That is it for the ingredients. So I was happy about that and the price on this is really good. So check that out too. Now, not keto friendly, but this is great stellar for your carb updates for my cyclical keto peeps out there. These are the oats that I've been eating. The Bob's Red Mill I mentioned, gluten-free, make sure it's the gluten-free ones, organic. You want to get organic because it scores lower in lyphosate, which is the Roundup ingredient that they use, which is crazy. So you want to try to get organic oats at all possible, even if you're not doing gluten-free. So I got these because I was so shocked to see them on Thrive because I've only been able to find the specific combo at Whole Foods and I'm almost out because I'm eating oats every Sunday for my carb up days. 
so great, guys, as far as the ingredients, the macros for a good complex carbohydrate on your cyclical keto days. If you watch my vlogs, you know I'm obsessed. Apple pie spice by Primal Palette we were just talking about, but this is so good in egg whites, which I make my Frenchie eggs or Frenchie egg pancakes, I like to call them. And this is a secret ingredient. I like douse it with this stuff. So I fly through this. Wanted to have a backup because I'm like down to here right now. Also something that I always have a backup of is the Chosen Foods 100% Pure Avocado Oil Spray. Now Primal Kitchen sells one as well, but this one is cheaper on Thrive and they're basically the same. So I went for the Chosen Foods brand. Love that so much. My Keto Twin in with Jen, she has been raving about these different flavored flackers. These are keto friendly as you guys can see. I've never tried the Toasted Flax Seed Crisp Black Sesame Seed and Black Pepper. I think she's tried this one before and said it's really good. So your total carbs are nine, fiber is seven. 13 grams of fat and six protein for 10 crackers. This is my favorite right here, the one that I've been eating. This is just a sea salt one and it is one net carb for 10 crackers and about the same macros as far as fat and protein. I love these with the hope hummus or just eating them with some really good aged cheese. So good to get your cracker like crunchy fix on when keto because that's kind of hard to do sometimes besides pork rinds. And I also got the rosemary flavor. I'm all about the rosemary life and this one is one net carbs for a serving too. So she's been raving about those. So Jen, thank you for the recommendation. Really good price over there at Thrive. And something else I wanted to try that was cheaper on Thrive than Whole Foods is the 4505 brand pork rinds. Love this brand for pork rinds. And this is their Cracklin. So they're real, it's a small bag. This is only a three ounce. Usually they're a little bit bigger, but I've heard really good things about this one and I still have yet to try it. And the ingredients on this guys are just fried pork fat with attached skin, sea salt, fried and rendered pork fat. So pork fat, pork fat, and more pork fat. Let's go. It, oh my gosh, I forgot the most important thing. What is my life? The new primal turkey sticks. How could I forget these? These are like my jam. So y'all know I like the lightly peppered ones are my favorite. And then Jen, like I was mentioning, she loves the cilantro lime one. And I'm sure I'm going to like that one too. So I picked this one up too because they were on sale. And like I was just mentioning, they sucked me in. They gave me a $20 credit if I bought within so many days. And a lot of this stuff was already on sale. So don't ever like pay full price. I have a 25% code down below off your order with probably some type of free gift. They're always doing daily. So if you're a new member, check that out. And if you don't like Thrive after you sign up, within 30 days, you can cancel risk-free. So it's it's no strings attached. You're gonna love it, I promise you. It comes right to your door with all these specialty items that you see at Whole Foods, but for a fraction of the cost. We absolutely love it. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoy Thrive Market Hauls and learning all about new products and good ingredient products, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. And if you are new here, I'd love to have you a part of the family. So make sure to hit all the bells and whistles down below before you leave. Y'all let me know what you are finding at Thrive that you are loving. And if you are new, don't forget I have that link down below that's gonna get you 25% off your first order, probably a free gift, and there's no strings attached. So definitely go and try it. I really love the fact that it all comes to your door. We don't have to go in store. We don't have to search store to store for all these specialty items. They're all right there. And almost nine times out of 10, most of these products are cheaper than you can find in store anyway. Let me know what are your must haves for Thrive. So like for me, it was a $20 incentive. I was like, let me get on here and get my basics and the things that we always get. So most of the things that you saw are the things that I use on a regular basis are things that I have to have in my life. Y'all comment down below, what are things that you must get from Thrive Market when you place your order if you have an incentive? Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all have an awesome week. Thank you again for watching and we'll see y'all in my next Thrive Market haul, which hopefully isn't too soon. Bye guys.